Hi there, I'm the real Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. We're on various stations in Chicago, Evanston, and 35 North and Northwest suburbs. We're all big on community policing, caps24.org. Uh, Jewish Chicago is coming out in a few days. If you're watching this on YouTube, you might have a little bit of time. If you're watching this on TV and you want to make sure you're included, pick up the phone, call me now. Email me, Facebook me. I love that word, Facebook me. Whatever you want to do, <laughs> but get in touch. Anyway, it is a pleasure to have a candidate for the Supreme Court of Illinois running for the Cook County slot. We're talking about Judge James Riley. How are you? Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me here. First of all, thank you. And um, now, you're, tell us about uh, tell us about your background. You're presently a judge. I'm presently a judge. I've been a judge for about four, fi 15 years. Um, most of that time lately, the last 14 years, has been in probate court here in Cook County, Daly Center. I am currently the supervising judge of our probate division. Oh, very nice. It's a great place to practice. Um, it's a great place to be. I, I wanted that assignment. I was lucky to get it. And uh, I enjoy going to work every day. No, that sounds terrific. And uh, Well, probate, basically, those are things like wills and... Uh... Well, we have three separate divisions. We have minors, kids under 18 with money or, or in need of a control. The parents are usually deceased. And then we have disabled adult, five courtrooms that do disabled adult. Um, that's probably a good bulk of our work. And we have four courtrooms that do decedents, wills, and trust. So, oh, very. That's that's definitely. Uh, how many how many cases does uh, d are on the docket at any point in time? I have about ten thousand five hundred cases on my docket. Wow. And there's four of us that do decedents. The disabled rooms are probably running about forty eight hundred per room, and there's five of them. Wow. Big load. That's quite a bit. So, um, so from here, so okay, you, you've established yourself as a judge, then you became the supervisor of the whole probate division, which is a very cool thing. And of course, the Daly Center is a very prestigious place to be. And um, so now the next step is a Supreme Court. Yes. So now, now judicial, for those of you who aren't familiar with judicial campaigns, he's not allowed to promise people 40 acres and a mule. <laughs> you know, you, you really can't campaign um, the way a person would for a different type of office. But still in all, you know, a person wants to get his name out there. Well, there's a lot that the Supreme Court does besides just making decisions on cases that appear before it. Um, we are in charge of all the lawyers in the state of Illinois. Uh, we're in charge of the Supreme Court rules. Um, uh, we deal with uh, discipline. Uh, we have several committees that deal with access to justice and criminal capital cases. Uh, so there's a lot of other programs that feed into the Supreme Court to make it what it is today. Now, how many, you know, actually the, the Supreme Court now is on video. Yes. Yes, that's correct. And a friend of mine, Jim Nally, who's um, one of our election experts and an election lawyer, um, he actually pointed me to a video. It was really fascinating to see how it operates. They're in session right today, and uh, you can pick it up on the uh, Internet. Yeah, I mean, the, the different questions and all the rest of it is very much not like a regular court. Or, well, first of all, none of it's like what you see on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dry, I think, from an audience point of view, the Supreme Court. It's lawyers standing at a podium addressing in box seven, seven justices. And they basically ask questions? They Correct. There's no testimony being taken at that a level, uh, strictly based on briefs and argument of counsel. Interesting. So you've, got to, so you've got to hit the whole county. I have to hit the entire county. My race, I'm running for Illinois Supreme Court, but I'm limited to the voters of Cook County. So it's a hard race running as a Republican. Oh, that's definitely, yeah, that definitely... Well, you know, at one point in time, uh, there were times actually a Cook County board president could be a Republican. There were times there were more Republicans in the suburbs. I'm seeing a, a, more, a little more Democrats in the suburbs, but I'm starting to see a little more Republicans in the city, too. Well, these new maps that came out didn't help. It took a lot of the sitting Republicans and really pushed them out to the margins of our county 
forcing them to go into new turfs in other counties. So they're out fighting for their own life. Um, I think what's happening is some of us back who live in the city, conservative is probably the wrong word, but we seem to be certainly different than a lot of the Democrats. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. I should say that too, because I, um, I have some th sympathies along that line, depending on the issue. I wouldn't consider myself a conservative. I wouldn't consider myself a liberal either. Right. Uh, I mean, if, I, if you're a voter and you live in Cook County, you have to take a look at what's going on in the state of Illinois. And uh, the state of Illinois, to my eyes, is in shambles. That's a nice way to put it. I think we're 40, the only reason we're 49th out of 50th is because California is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Forbes has us rated 49th and I think we, our credit's been downgraded twice since. <laughs> well, if you're a Cook County voter, you know, you look at your no jobs, um, poor schools, high taxes, high crime, why do the people still vote Democratic? What are they getting out of it? I don't. I, I have a hard time seeing what they get. By the way, I, I I'm not going to. I'm not only not going to disagree with you. I'm going to agree with you. But the funny thing is that I think some of the people have just been disgusted enough to leave town. They mm -hmm. say our numbers are going down. The, as a matter of fact, I had uh, Roger Keats on uh, when he ran for county board president as a Republican two years ago, uh, businessman, and he basically got so fed up he moved to Texas. I don't, why do we have to leave? Um, why can't we sit here and fight this fight, you know, and uh, try to get some fiscal responsibility and get our finances under control and see if we can't salvage this? No, I think that would be a terrific thing. You know, it, but you know, you just had a situation, you've got Madigan in control of things for the last, um, it seems like about as long as I've been born. Yeah. And uh, you know, Quinn is, is very inept, which is a different problem. He's not up to the challenge of a Madigan. And even though you've lost Emil Jones and you've gained John Cullerton, you've got the same. Uh, it, the, the one thing I have seen is that, that the, um, the 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 had you know Madigan and Cullerton have increased the power of their offices to the point where you oh, it's hard to overwrite. While while Illinois had so-called campaign reform and limited the amount of contributions, um, <clears throat> limited the amount of contributions. You can give to a, a member of the legislature, you can give unlimited contributions to the Speaker of the House or the President of the Senate. Or not quite unlimited, but close. Money is always going to be an issue. And, you know, Mr. Green controls a lot of what happens here in Illinois. But Illinois is an embarrassment across the United States uh, with our corruption and current uh, aldermen under indictment, state reps under indictment. Uh, we removed our last governor, put him in jail. How do we overcome that? You know, uh, I don't think we do it by keeping the vote Democratic. No, not at all. It is a matter of fact, uh, you know, it, 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 and by the way, it, it's, it's funny. A, a friend of mine once told me that he never voted Democratic in his life. I couldn't believe it. I mean, he never voted for a single Republican in his life. And I thought he was out of his mind. So it meant that when <laughs> I, I went to Jan Schakowsky, who's about as liberal as you can possibly get, <laughs> She'd probably deny this now, but this is, a few, this is not that long, uh, maybe about four years ago. And I asked her, have you ever voted for a Republican? And she looked at me like I was crazy and said, of course I have. You know, and she was indicating that she was willing to vote for who the best possible person was, despite her um, stake in the and Democratic Party. And it's possible party. to do that today, since we've done away with the straight party voting. Uh, yeah. That has given, you can vote for your candidate now. So um, that's what I'm hoping to do. I need to get some of these independent Democrats out here that are self-thinkers that look they who they vote for for president and who they vote for the Supreme Court doesn't have to be the same party they can vote for the candidate no that's a hundred percent correct so, so anyway people should consider definitely consider uh, voting for James judge James Raleigh the truth is I haven't done my homework on the race at the time but I, I will be doing my homework and in Jewish Chicago I'll give a detailed analysis uh, of what's going on that's for sure and um, but you know like like make sure you vote and you're right you're hundred percent right keep your options open I mean, pick the best possible person. We don't have the day and age where one slot said Democrat Richard J. Daley, mayor, and the other slot said Republican danger 50,000 votes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a phenomenon in Cook County that we're trying to reverse here. The people, the voter that go to vote, about 45 to 50 percent of them never vote for the judges. Is what we call ballot fall off. So one of the programs out there is just to stay on the ballot. Now, it gets cumbersome in Cook County. I'm the first guy to admit it between our contested races, our appellate court races, our circuit court races, and then our retention ballot. There's a lot there. But stay on that ballot and vote the entire ballot. 
And it's in fact even better, you know, because, you know, you reminded me, I was pushing this in the spring. Why not start at the bottom of the ballot? Because you know you're going to go back to president anyway. <laughs> and people don't realize what, what a gigantic effect a judge can have on a person's life. I mean, you can change their their whole future. You can, you, can, you know, whether it's jail or a lawsuit or, or who knows what. I mean, you have a, a judge has more, is going to have, likely could have more of an effect if you appear before him than any state representative or state senator. And will. what's interesting, you can appear before me. It's hard to get a hold of your senators and your reps. Yeah. I, I have a courtroom. I have an address. The public is always welcomed in the courtroom. Um, I deal with a caseload of anywhere from 40 to 50 cases a day. That includes testimony, and I actually see the people. Yeah. Um, and it's been a great 15 years. So. No, that's terrific. At um, this point, why don't you give us your contact information? Okay. Uh, my, it's www.rileyforjudge.com. www.rileyforjudge.com. R -I -L -E -Y for judge .com. And it's 4-F-O-R. Spell out Oh, four. I was going to ask you that, too. Right. So, listen, um, check it out. Consider voting. Well, if it, first of all, vote for sure. Start at the bottom of the ballot. Hit the judges <laughs> first. You know, that's, that's the easiest way to do things. And I want to thank you very much for enlightening us, Judge James Riley. Yeah, thank you for having me, and sir. I appreciate my it. My pleasure, and good luck in the election. Thank you. I appreciate it.